Welcome to Easy MS Project. In this video, I'm showing how to allocate resources to tasks in Microsoft Project. To do the allocation, first you need to introduce your resource list to your file. For this purpose, we need to go to the resource sheet. You can go to the resource sheet from bottom. If you see this sign, the check it table, we can click on this. We will head straightly to resource sheet. Here we can give the list and also their attributes. For example, we can define the type of the resource or their rate, the maximum availability, as well as their calendar. Then we can go back to Gantt chart. We can choose this sign or right click on the left side and choose the Gantt chart. There are three ways that you can allocate resources. Firstly, we can go to resource menu and choose assign resources before that you can select multiple tasks or one task for example i want to allocate resources to a and b i choose them click on assign resources and then here your resources are listed you want to uh, put 100 percent of resource one and 50 percent of resource two as soon as you select it will be allocated you don't need to click on the ok if you want to reverse it you can just click on remove and then it will be reversed so we can close this or not the second way that i know for resource allocation is adding resource names in resource names you can simply type for example if I want to allocate resource theory to this task, just click and then say you want to put 50% on this and you close the bracket or you want to allocate R1 to this task. If it is 100%, you don't need to say 100%, just type R1. The third way that I know for resource allocation is going to detailed window. Just click on view and detailed window uh, here. Uh, if you right click you have got predecessors and successor views or resource views we need resource and predecessor or successor views so uh, for example for task E I want to allocate resources R1 and R2 I just simply click R1 and then put a percentage on this or click on the drop drop down list and then choose RTD and it will put 100% uh, better than this is uh, using the task detail form instead of uh, uh, detail form here you will have options like for example going for effort driven resource allocation or not um, in another video videos I will show how to use effort driven scheduling and also resource leveling and other things related to the resources when you have allocated resources your work column showing how many man hours in total is allocated uh, will be updated for example a is in 40 man hours and if you have uh, allocated a, a standard rate to your resources on the cost column you, you will also see the associated cost uh, thanks for watching my video uh, uh, for my next videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and share or like my video many thanks